You saw the thumbnail. I'm just gonna roll the footage. Welcome to the Paper Chase channel. Today is exciting because we're doing something we don't do too much on the Paper Chase channel, which is actually go hunt some comics. Um, I had some free time today and I'm going to Biloxi, Mississippi. It's about an hour and 45 minute drive from where I live. And it's going to be one of the best hauls I've had to date. <laughs> the reason I know this is because I've already pretty much bought two books pre-ordered, if you will, from somebody on Facebook that lives out here. Um, I'm going to meet up with him. They are two extremely big keys. One is a personal grail of mine, and I'm getting them at insanely low cost. I'm still, I still am suspicious about this deal because of how low of a price I'm getting these books at. But we're going to find out for sure if it's legit, because we know how these uh, Facebook Marketplace deals can be. I'm meeting this guy in a public place at a Walmart. We're going to do the deal. I might buy some meth while I'm out here too. Hopefully I come back in one piece and uh, I'm heard from after today. But yeah, let's go for a ride. All right, we are here. This guy, last time I was here, this guy had a crap ton of books. He just got in a huge collection, but he said there was some legal red tape he's got to go through before he can legally sell it. Um, and so I kind of stayed on him, and then two, three months passed, and I know he had already gone through it. He already put these books out, but he should have a lot of new stuff. I don't think I got first dibs on everything, but who knows, maybe, maybe some other people missed some stuff. So we'll see what we can find. All right, so we're done in the pawn shop. Went pretty well. Got about five or six books in there, uh, some some decent stuff. And more importantly, I'm getting a little nervous about this meetup with this fella because well, he hasn't contacted me yet. We're about an hour away from our our designated meetup time, and I've gotten no word from him, and he has some of my money. So. Getting a little sketch. Hope I don't get taken here. What makes you think that? So I got about an hour to kill before my meetup with him, if that even goes down. Um, and then it'll be on to the next shop, so stay tuned. Okay, back with another quick comment. Uh, I looked up a couple of the books from this pawn shop. One, I knew the value roughly of, and I didn't know if it would be more or less valuable than the first printing. Holy crap. Uh, I hit I hit a jackpot in this pawn shop, and we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over that too at the end. Okay, so the guy did message me back. He is en route to meet me. We are meeting at the Walmart, and seems legit so far. We will see. Picked up a quick bite to eat. Waiting, playing the waiting game. I'm still blown away by the book I just found in that pawn shop and the value of it. And it's it was a book that was on my list for my personal my personal collection. Um, and I knew there was multiple printings, but you know, with all of these printings, a lot a lot of these printings you don't know which one. If it's the second or the fifth, that's the most valuable. I mean, guys, I can't. This book alone that I just found at this pawn shop was worth this whole trip. It almost made, if this dude just stiffed me, I would almost not, of course I would care still, but this book would definitely soften that blow. All right, officially worried again. It's 2.01, no word from the guy. I sent him my location in the parking lot. He has not even opened the message. <sighs> this might suck. 
Please don't do this. I'm begging you. He said we're coming, so I feel like he's got to have his wife or somebody with him. I don't know. 205. I'm pissed. Really, really pissed. So for the first time in this game, just got scammed. I was gonna throw the dude's name and stuff all over, but it might not be his real name. If he's using somebody else's name, I don't wanna slander their name, so. But, so I just got scammed 150 bucks. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to call this, we're going to go to the next comic shop and we're going to continue on our hunt and we're going to say we paid $150 to learn a lesson is what we're going to do. The book was real. I asked for the, you know, he definitely had access to these books. I asked for specific photos. He gave them to me. Uh, there's no doubt that this guy is real and did have this book, but he is definitely a piece of shit. For sure. I used Cash App to pay him. And you know, and he did it he did it a good way because he didn't ask for too much money. You know? He asked for enough that somebody would probably give them not thinking too much about it. The book was $150 for New Mutants 98. I sent him half of it. He didn't request the whole thing. Which I was like, oh wow, this must be legit. If he was I would think if he's going to try a scam spy, he's going to try to get as much money as quick as possible, but that's not what he did. So, and then the other book was a Conan the Barbarian, number one, in phenomenal condition, and he wanted, uh, he said he needed the money quick, so he was going to let it go for 80 bucks. <laughs> just for the sheer fact that that was even a possibility, I kind of just couldn't pass that up. But... That's it. Scammed. So I'm feeling a little bit better because uh, after some quick research, it looks like on Cash App you can report fraudulent activity and being scammed. So I do have all of my money uh, that I've sent to him being reviewed for a refund. And you know what would be hilarious is if he was like, oh man, my phone died. <laughs> My phone died. I'm here in the parking lot. Sorry about that. He's got the two books. I've already reported his Facebook profile, his cash app, and put a hit out on the guy. That would be unfortunate. All right, we are here at Three Alarm Comics in Biloxi, Mississippi. Going to head in, and we've got some of the best dollar bin boxes I've seen so far. So we're just going to do some digging. We did okay. Uh, I'm pleased with what we picked up there. So we got a little bit of a drive back home. We'll unbox it all and go over what we got. Okay guys, so we are back here. And as you can see, the backdrop's a bit different. Finally got uh, the office semi together. Don't worry, the lighting and the glare, all of that's going to be fixed over time. This is just uh, the current situation for this video. Uh, but it will improve as time goes on. Now we're back here, unfortunate events happened, but hey, we did not walk away empty handed. I'm still waiting on the refund from Cash App, no word yet, it still says pending, so hopefully I get my money back. Um, but while we were in Mississippi, we actually did find some really great deals and I'm going to share those with you right now. But before we get into the books, I do want to invite you guys to my Whatnot channel this Friday night. This is going to be a massive sale. Okay, so I'm going to save the real big book for the end, but the first stop that I made was the pawn shop in Mississippi. Now, when I was there three months ago, he had just gotten in a bunch of books. He couldn't release them yet. I actually got him 
to, and he had, and he had not sorted through these books yet. Um, he got the approval from the state to sell the books, but he had not gone through them yet. So I actually got him to pull the books from the back one by one and bring out about six or seven boxes. It was all modern stuff. I'm talking about like 80% modern stuff. So I did find a couple of things in there, but in the pawn shop, this is what I got. Number one is a great Bill Sienkiewicz cover. And this book is really heating up right now. This is Wonder Man issue number one here. Uh, I picked up an ASM 293. This is a great Craven uh, cover. These are gonna start getting price here as the Craven movie approaches, even though he's an animal lover now. What sense does that make? And I wanna know in the comments below, what are your thoughts on Craven being made an animal lover? I think it's the stupidest. I actually pulled two books out of his modern section that he hadn't gone through yet. And this was one of them. This is Solo, A Star Wars Story. This is the one in 10 variant, I believe. The movie cover variant, first appearance of Kira. And this is a low print run book. There is not too many of these out there. And I wanna say this is probably like a 60 to a $70 book. It's super high grade and will probably go out to CGC to get slapped. So from the dollar bins, here's what I pulled. I found a nice run of Invincible comics. And these Invincible books are just selling like crazy. It is hard to find a single Invincible issue under 15 bucks. Uh, all of these issues under 100 are really selling like crazy. And this is what I found for a buck each. Great, super happy I ran into those. These will all be for sale at my WhatNot auction on Friday, 8 p.m. Central, link below. A couple of other dollar books that I thought were a good little pickup are. The spoiler warning, if you haven't seen Love and Thunder yet, Hercules shows up at the end credit scene. Um, so I think it's just good to buy anything that's cover price or below on Hercules right now. This will also be available on Whatnot. And I'm going to pair them with two other books that I picked up from the store, also involving Hercules. World War Hulk with Hercules on the cover. So we know Hercules is actually in the MCU now, and there's heavy rumors of World War Hulk being a big series. I think like a four episode series or so coming to Disney Plus also found two copies of Hercules number one, a book that's really been heating up lately due to his appearance in the after credit scene. Anybody who's seen some previous episodes on the channel, they know I'm a big Back to the Future fan. And so when I saw this book, had to get it. This is Chrononauts, never read the series, never heard of the series. Uh, I, it just stopped me dead in my tracks when I saw this cover and I picked it up. Five bucks. Okay, two more books to show you. And one of them is nothing too special. Ultimate Fallout, number one. Can you tell from where you're sitting why I picked this book up? I'll give you a closer look. This is a newsstand copy on a book that came out in 2000. 11? Yeah, 2011. A newsstand copy. I tried to find these on eBay. I could not even find any of these on eBay. So, extremely rare. I love high grade newsstands. I love I love rare newsstands and I love very late era newsstands. So, super pumped I got this. Um, probably not going to sell this. Now for the book that really made the entire trip worth it. Back to the pawn shop going through the untapped modern boxes very close to this book here was the Canaan and the last Padawan number one the second printing this is about a $300 book that I got for five dollars and this book is pretty rare and this book is extremely high grade 
first full appearance of Kane and Jars, first cameo of Ezra Bridger, first cameo of Sabine Wren. Um, Five dollars I got for this book. Talking a 9.8 candidate, you're probably looking closer to the $500 mark. Am I gonna sell it? Absolutely not. But I'm happy I have it. Let me know what you guys would have done in the comments below if you were in my position, and throw out any tips that you guys know for doing long distance deals online that might help out other people in the collecting community. Instead of calling it quits here, I'm actually gonna cut to a small trailer of the books that will be for sale this Friday night, 8 Central, on my Whitehead channel. Links in the description. See you there.